In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly assemble a Rayhow R20 manifold compression fitting that will be used to attach to a Rayhow ProBalance 1 inch stainless steel manifold. First, it's important to make a clean 90 degree cut on the pipe that you're looking to attach. So right there you can see as I roll it that it's pretty consistent, that's pretty close to a 90 degree angle there. If I cut it poorly, that's kind of what we're trying to avoid right there, that you've got a big um, kind of pencil edge to that. So we want to be closer to that 90 degree angle. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put the compression nut on, followed by the split brass ring, and then the fitting with the O-ring. So it will slide to about right there. That kind of looks like you're done. If you tip it down this way, you can actually see right into that shiny back edge where the pipe will actually stop. So what we want to do is push that a little bit harder. So sometimes I'll put a piece of cardboard up against the wall behind the manifold if that's the easiest place to do it. And then you'll push down a little bit more. You can actually kind of hear and feel it go that last little bit. So once you do that, you shouldn't have any brass that you can see on the inside where the pipe actually makes contact a little bit further into the fitting. So that looks good. I'm going to assemble one with a bad cut just to kind of show you the difference there. So we'll do the same procedure. The problem is here, if you push that all the way on from this side, it looks good all the way in. If you rolled over that way, then you've got a big gap right there. So that won't make contact and that wouldn't be a fitting that we'd want to start with when we detach it to the manifold because the compression as it squeezes this ring right here against the barb of the fitting is what makes the seal. If you have it off that far, you can actually have that edge of the split ring dive under. What that will look like is right there. So it this is a bad example where that one actually dove under and they started to kind of pull apart a little bit. This is with a 90 degree cut, so you're gonna end up with a nice, smooth, consistent edge right there. And that would be something that would compress well when you attach it to the manifold.